guys, welcome to episode 7. Today we're going to concentrate on an animal farm. Hubby and I decided we're going to do sheep and cows. So, hope you guys enjoy the episode. We'll see you guys inside. We're gonna carry on with our little animal farm. We've got the AFK fish farm that will give us fish for food. So, this is not so much for food as more for leather and for wool. We will build a bigger wool farm later on and also a bigger leather farm. This is just to get us started. So the idea is you can see we've laid some stuff out here already. On the granite blocks, we're going to put dispensers with water in it with the animal standing on top of that. There's going to be a glass floor and the bottom is going to be the water pool where the animals fall into. But love, do you want to get started and change this to something like diorite? Um, am I taking out this layer? Yeah, take that layer out and, re and replace it. Just using a brighter color because there's going to be water so it just pops a bit more. That's where the dispensers are going. They're going to have a water in them. So basically we can have cows one side and sheep on the other side. It's basically the same concept for both of them. Um, so that's where the sheep's going to stand. So we're going to need that block for them to stand on. I'm just using that as a temporary block. That block must actually come out. And we'll put a glass floor in here. Let's talk about farms in general and what do we do at the farms. Normally, we build farms in order that we're going to need stuff. Some things that we normally do and which we haven't done yet and, we, and I can actually see the issues already starting is we normally start off with a hop farm just to get the general bones and string all that kind of thing and already we had a spider hunting because we didn't have enough uh, string that was fun it was fun i did die very <laughs> nubishly and i didn't and no i did i did yes you did you did i did, did. yeah i did we should have started with a uh, mob farm again and we didn't but we're paying the price now i'm not quite sure when we are going to do a mob farm it has to be soon mm. no, we, we definitely need a lot of those bones and stuff I wanted to carry on next episode with an iron farm and for the iron farm we're going to need villagers so which means we need to make a villager breeder but I think we need to go to nether first we need ports more than we need anything else so next episode we'll go to the nether and then after that we'll start doing iron farms villager breeder it is my favorite place quite fun to watch Mr. in it Ned you get enjoyment out of it it's always fun to watch Go. And what we can do now is just put a water bucket in each of these dispensers. And that's gonna make the, the animals hop up and down just to make feeding them feeding them and breeding them uh, a lot easier. I'm still gonna need some water buckets to, to put the water in the bottom, so we've got to, so that's fine. Alrighty, now sorry and I'm slow, I'm getting there. No, it's fine. I'm still far off of that. So, as soon as we trigger this, this is going to be water popping out here, which means the water is going to fall off here. So we want to stop the water from dropping off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a glass block there, a glass block there, a glass block there. And on those glass blocks, I'm going to place sign and sign sign this side um, we should actually build it on top of the wall so let me go and in this wall there a bit row quickly and done uh, and we'll put a sign there which means if we place a button there the water will dispense but it won't fall off and what will happen is that the adults will be stuck in this two gap but the babies will fall off into this little catching area just a quick question so the wooden buttons are better than no the stone buttons are better than the wooden mm -hmm. ones no there's, there's not a better one or a, a weaker one it is what you want to do with the buttons okay. the, the buttons is a pulse so if you press it it will send a signal the wooden buttons has got the longer pulse. The signal will stay on 
Mit Longbow. Äh, mit Longbow. Okay. Ja. Oh, I found iron back here. I'm just gonna take it out. <laughs> we need all the iron. In coal. That we can get. Baby. Yeah. In the our sorting system, there's roughly 1200 hoppers. Was it? Is that right, my love? Um, I can't remember, love. You're asking the wrong person. About 1200 hoppers. I know we need over 5000 iron pigments for all the hoppers. Oh. And that's the reason why we need to build an iron farm. We might even go as far as build, build two. The idea behind the base as well is to have it quite self-efficient that you can get most of your resources while you're in the base. And also, I'm not an expert at chunks, but I do take chunks into consideration. So when you're in the base, most of the farms are running and you are generating whatever the, the farms are producing. But you don't always want everything in there because uh, it does get a bit laggy uh, from time to time. What we also want to do is we want to build, for lack of a better word, like industrial area where we can have like a glass factory and we can have a concrete factory and maybe have another iron farm there so it doesn't take up too much lag when we're in the base. Okay, so this is done, this is laid out. Now the question is how are we going to trigger these uh, dispensers? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a torch against this wall like, like so and they will all trigger because a torch is by default on I love that and one's going astray something's wrong there uh, I forgot the um, sign. sign so now you can actually see nicely what the sign will do and there we go so they all all triggered they all happy uh, what we're going to do, that's the block, let's make get some repeaters in here, repeater, do it right, do it quickly, like some redstone, yeah, and the switch off. Make sure I'm on the right level, repeater, repeater, torture. Yeah. Redstone wise, this is not going to be too complicated. Um, this at the end of the day, guys, this is a starting of all. This is not our main base. So I don't want to spend too much resources on this. My view is farms is just to make your life a bit easier. But later on, we'll spend some bit more creative stuff in actual base. There, that will be button, the feeding button. My other buttons, I don't know. Yeah. Feeding button there and now we just need to link this redstone up to the bottom and i'm just going to run it down touch i think not the most elegant way okay works it works i go here and i press that button but the fire is because ah that last one didn't fire um i think i know what's wrong Remember, redstone will only travel 15 blocks. After the 15th block, you need to put you need to put the redstone repeater down, so the redstone signal will travel another 15 blocks. As you can see, all the dispensers uh, dispensers has pulled the water back in. If we put, push the button, they will release the water, and we can feed the animals. If we press the button again. They will fire and they will pull the water back in. So the idea is going to be when the babies are born, they will drop down in uh, below us. And it will be funneled down in that little trench there. We'll run to the back and they will go up into the little elevator and they will be plonked back here. Um, like I said, this is a starting farm. There's nothing too hectic um, with auto cookers and all that kind of things also we need to pull in that because we will be able to make like that pretty now as well mm. 
I don't want to be funny, but I've got a lot of coal here. I'm just gonna place a chest oh, there. 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 Yeah. That's where okay. all our loot will fall into. Sorry about the blonde moment. I'm just gonna place a slab there. The reason why I place a slab there is as soon as there's a solid block over a chest, you can't open the chest. Now my wife is in the way, we'll just let the finish and I'll carry on. Can I... Okay, that's it. I think I'm finished. Now you can go do the bottom. Yep. You want me out the way, hey? Yeah, I want you. Wait, please. <laughs> So basically, if you place either a slab or a stairs above a chest, the chest will still, still open. To place this block here for now, Oops. just for me to jump over. Blocking here now. So this is going to be where animals drop into, so I'm just going to clean this up a bit so it looks a bit neater. So we, can, we will be able to see in there. And then we'll start building the, the animal elevator. You guys can now see where all our coal went to. Melting coal turned to. Alrighty, and then if I place a glass there, and that's what the front is going to look like. So later on what we will do as well is we will remove this block and we'll put a uh, dispenser in there with lava. So I'm going to open this up so you guys can see. So if we, I'm going to actually mark the block out with another, another block. So let's put something like granite in there so we can just see it properly. So that will become a dispenser with lava in. So animals Baby animals is one block high, they will stand roughly around about here, underneath the lava. Also what we must do is place a sign in there, so that when the lava dispense, it doesn't drop down and kill the babies. So when the animals grow up, they will be two blocks high, though their heads will be in that block there, and the lava will kill them. Alrighty guys. Unfortunately, I have to shoot this out of sequence. We had some problems with the footage where I explained this. So I might give some spoilers away and I apologize for that. I'd rather let you understand the farm than not explaining it at all. So as you can see, the bottom is done. We just put it with pyrite. This is where the water is going to go. We've added some lights the same way we did in the base. Uh, in the little holes just to light it up a bit and then we've got this little trench that we dug out all the way to here and the reason why it's dropping down is for water flow and here's the animal elevator the trick for the animal elevator is that all the sides must be glass going up what happens is fence does not connect to glass so you get this little little gap that should also be a little fence. I'll show you now what's happening. So I'm going to pull that back in. That's the way it should look like. So from the wall, this comes back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks. That's the elevator. I'm gonna run to the top quickly to place the water source on top, and then I'll see you now. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do is, if I just jump down here, quickly, this is now the level where the animals drop into, I place a sign in the front to stop the water from going down, because as the lower dispenses and the water goes down, it's going to turn into obsidian. So I would not want the water to fall in there, so I put a sign in there to stop the water from spilling over. This side, on the same level, that's where the fence stop. What I'm going to do on this on this level, right at the back, I'm going to place a water source. You'll see the water source going down and then pushing forward. So I in two directions with that water source. I'm going to jump out here close this back up 
and I will see you guys inside again. Alrighty, we are back inside. I just want to do it this way so you guys can see what happened at the bottom with the water source. You will now see it goes there and it will stop. Okay. What will happen is when we place the final water source, I'm going to place this one temporary so you just, just can see. This water source will actually jump up to that. And the animals will then, maybe animals will go underneath the fence and they will swim up. And remember when we, when we place the water box at the top, it went in the direction as well. The baby animals will be pushed this way and back into the little kill killing chamber. I'm just going to pick this water source up because that's, that's not where it's going. So, that's what's going to happen when we place the water source. Remember, what water source will run for 8 blocks. Then you need to extend it to drop to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8 block a drop. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8 block it drops. So I can use one water source to fill this whole funnel in but before I'm, I'm gonna do that of course we're gonna have water on on this sections as well pushing the animals in I don't want this water to fall into this funnel and affecting this this water source so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make what they call the water blade the water blade is a series of signs that is lying on top of each other so so I place the first sign down and I hold in shift to place another sign on top of it. And I'm going to do that all the way to the end of the funnel. Let's quickly finish this. Uh, I was going to get some, but it's fine now. I'm not going to stress too much about it. All the way to the end. So when the, this water flows, it will flow into this, this little funnel. So I'm going to get all my water sources ready here quickly. So we, we're going to need six, six water uh, sources here. You'll see this water will now push, it will push into this funnel. And we're going to do one this side, one in this corner and one in this corner now you'll see we're missing some water here we'll place one there and we'll just jump over and place one there now what that allows us to do doesn't matter where we need to break this last fence this last sign to this block and also push in so it doesn't matter where we stand in this water when the, animal, the animals fall down they will get pushed into this little funnel I'm gonna place a water block source right at the end here and you will now see that I am being you will now see that I'm pushed down the little funnel to the elevator I won't fit through because I'm two blocks uh, there may be animals on one block and they will go up the little water stream so the next thing that needs to be done is we need to load all the cells with animals that's going to take a while so we'll do it on a time lapse so you guys can get the idea of how we use leads and food to lure uh, the animals to the cells and push them in see you guys after time lapse
guys so we're back from our finishing off our animal farm as you can see we got very far we're just going to walk you through this so basically we've got a button over here which we're going to press as you can see the water comes up out of the dispenser and the cows will raise to the top you can now then go and feed all the cows which you can see us doing now if you look at the bottom the cows are coming out from there and they're going down the long little channel at the end they'll end up going up the elevator the elevator then brings them into here where they will grow once they're grown which obviously they're not at the moment so we'll just give it a little bit of time and we'll show you what happens from there let's go feed the cows in the meantime uh, and also what you've done is uh, we just place this fence post above the the animals so that you we don't fall into the hole when he says we he means mystery <laughs> but the animals will then end up in this little this little compartment here where you can wait for them to, to grow so you can either go feed them to, to make them grow faster uh, or you can just walk away and leave them to grow I've pushed the buttons to put them off because all the cows and sheep are fed uh, now they stop, stop jumping and as you can see we placed the dispenser in there i don't think i can get in there to show you uh, there we go you can there's see a, it from here there's a bucket of lava in there the little button so you press it and the lava will dispense and press it to stop um when once we've got quartz and we can make comparison observer blocks i'll make this a fast stick so as, as soon as something grows it will automatically trigger and it will kill the animals and everything will fall into this little chest, chest down here as, as you can see there's already some white wool and some raw mutton which have now been collected from previous kills that were in there and that's a little and that's it yeah little farm alrighty guys I think we're gonna pull that day for today that's a little animal farm noisy noisy let us know what you guys think of it and let's do one last kidding before and we can put it off and you can see them burn they start dying dying and there's the stuff coming into the chest cool let us know what you, th what you guys think of this in the comment section thank you all for joining us if you enjoyed this episode please hit the subscribe button and like our video if there is anything you wish to see in our channel, please comment below and we'll try and make it happen. Remember to click the bell to activate notifications of new episodes we release. Thanks all, bye. Thanks guys, bye. bye.